all the Renault mechanics are looking out to see me coming past. And apparently they were really sort of upset because they didn't think I was going to hit the limiter, but I did on several occasions because oh, I, yes. I was sending it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Auto Alex podcast, episode 27. Uh, you join us this week with a very special guest. It's Rory. Yay. And a not so very special guest. It's Matty Matty. Matty Matty. Is Matty, that my Matty. name? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Matthew Gallagher. <laughs> That's the one. Formerly, formerly of WTF1 mm -hmm. fame. Mm -hmm. And now from position one with <laughs> Matthew and Timothy. Yes. Ping oh. on with Matt and Tommy for, yes, okay. for people that might actually be looking that up. What but, do you uh, do? What do I do? Right, I'm Talk bored. about already Formula bored. One. <laughs> I, 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 Before we get into the podcast, a massive hello to Andrew, who's just bought a Renault Twingo RS for £400, Blair, who listens on his way to work, Jake doing his first cam belt, water pump and tensioner on his Mitsubishi GTO, Vinicius listening on his grocery runs, Maya and Reese listening while moving house, pest controller Nick killing rats, Oh, 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 I need his number. My screen. Oh, you do need the number. Yeah. We'll, we'll chat about rats in okay. a minute. Because we've got George completing his final year project and writing his dissertation for his aerospace engineering degree in Coventry. And do you listen to the podcast? No. Okay, so you don't know what's coming up. Well, I'm listening to the podcast now, I guess. So. Okay, so the first time. Yeah. You're a real piece of shit. Aren't you? No, the, the, the first <laughs> you could thing have at I least thought, planned just a little bit. The first thing I thought was that this sounds like the pantomime. Where they go, oh, hello, and happy birthday too. And then just list out loads of people. That's, that's the vibe it gave me. Matt. <laughs> you started this. Matt. Yes. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we, we do, do you want to read well. the last bit? Oh. 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 Rory's mum, Jackie. Yeah. You're right, mum. Rory's mum, Rory's Jackie. Mom. She, she's I've an met your avid mom. listener. That is, that is every, every episode they do that. Yeah. yeah. I think I've met your mum. You have met my mum. Yeah, very yeah. briefly. And yeah. Yeah. At your, uh, your house. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. it's lovely. Yeah. Lovely lady, much better than you. Oh, thanks. Mm. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So uh, lovely to be here. Is it? No. Is it really? No, I got told about this about 20 minutes ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a podcaster, so you should, you should know what's going on. You've got a podcast, don't you? I do. I How do, do you open yes. your podcast? Because apparently this was very pantomime. It so was. So pretend that this is your audience. Yeah. Actually, no, it's not, because this is a vast no, 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 audience. No one cares about Don't they start off with like, welcome back to the WTF one? Oh, wait, no. no oh, no, no, you got who? fired from that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Hello. Hello. Hello, little fishing rod. <laughs> Hook didn't get in my cheek that time. Little fishing rod. Um, I've just cast a net, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see we've got matty from p1 with matty and tommy uh because we will be later actually looking for a car for you because mm. you need a new car mm. because yes. what's happened is that you've currently got uh was an audi tt rs yes and you are making so much money <laughs> that that car is not powerful enough or new enough for you so you need an upgrade why did I agree to come on this podcast? Because you need a new car. Yeah, yeah. 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 I yeah. should so have known. Yeah, I, I don't going. know why you agreed, to be honest. Look, I've had it for a few years, and the amount of times you've uh, slandered my car, despite fully loving it at the same I time. I said it's very nice. Yeah, rubbish. I um, said it's very powerful, it's red. It's like backhanded compliments that you give my car. So anyway, welcome to the podcast. Why you got you got a little smile on your face? Because I'm just preparing myself for whatever's going to come out your mouth next. So, so for people who don't know... Uh, Matt and I used to work at WTF1 yep. at Car Throttle, which was the same company as Alex. We owned you. Mm. We made you. you and, and there was a slight bit of rivalry. There wasn't rivalry. But there's, there's no competition. There's no rivalry. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm faster in carts. I'm faster in race well, cars. That's, that is ooh, that's that day. Mm -hmm. That day that we had. Do you remember that little 1v1 we had over the course of, I think it was seven different disciplines and... I won four three. Do you remember I was, that? Or if you deleted I, that from your I brain, I was faster in the single seat, though, wasn't I? <laughs> I remember that. I I remember coming back. I'd be very proud of myself, and they were mm. like, "What's my time? What's Matty's time? Saw your time. Saw my time. I was like, "Where's my time?" It's like we did, we couldn't calculate your time because no, no, you were cutting corners. It was so slow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, apparently I was cutting track corners too yeah, much. Apparently. Yeah, track limits. Yeah. Track limits. Well, so you were the cheating. Lines. Yeah. He knew he was slower and knew he had to make up some time somewhere. Bless him. So sharp. It's cute. He's cute. Um, anyway, what have you been up to, Matthew Gallagher from P1? Alex Kirsten from Auto Alex. Uh, I have been busy starting P1 with, yeah. with myself and Tommy. Uh, we launched last February. Yeah. Uh, we, we do content about Formula One. 
uh, which has some kind of relevance to cars. So that's why apparently I'm Are on you into podcast. cars? I, I like cars that look nice and sound nice. Okay. I'm not. Why do you drive a TT? RS. Um, because. <laughs> RS. Uh, I don't know. I just, I, I always like the look of it and I've been slandered ever since, but you know, it's my <laughs> life. And when I'm on my deathbed, I'm not going to be thinking about Alex Kirsten telling me that. I, I hope you are. I hope you are though. I hope I just <laughs> pop into your head. Uh, <laughs> the last person you think of when you're dying is me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very that will send you off. That will yeah, <laughs> <that'll laughs> send you to sleep. Yeah. yeah. How is P1 going? Very well. In incredibly well. Um, we've been blown away by the support of everyone in, in the F1 community. A lot of, a lot of people decided, you know, when we, when we jumped ship and, and made our own thing that it was, it was worth a, uh, worth a listen. And, uh, yeah, uh, the YouTube channel has gone really well as well. And can't really complain. We Man, do our, we do our watch alongs. And... Oh, I just, just noticed your jumper and your, mm. your Tommy jeans Quite literally belt there. everything That's... I'm wearing is Tommy. Yeah. Is that, why is that? Uh, cause we had a partnership with the <laughs> figure last year, which, Did you, you? which you bring up every five minutes of the day of me seeing you. <laughs> That's because every you time call I me see Tommy now. <laughs> I do. I do. Yeah. Where's, where's fair, figure? Yeah. yeah. Every time we do see you, you are head to toe in Tommy but, Hilfiger. Well, yes, because I had rubbish clothes beforehand and they sent me some, so I put them in the bin <laughs> and now I wear this. It's amazing as well, because there is a jumper that Tommy wears, my business partner, uh, and there's one that just says Hilfiger. So it's like, Tommy... And then it, it's, it's brilliant. It's honestly the most perfect brand oh, partnership God. ever. Okay, brilliant. Are you, are you going to be re-sponsored by them? Is that Hopefully. in the works? Yep. Okay. Knocking on their door. Oh, really? <laughs> they okay. are yeah, 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 you know? yeah. Otherwise, we're going to Primark, see if they want to <laughs> sponsor us. Because I mean, I must, I'm, I'm feeling this jumper. It just feels a little bit, I don't know. Sub, you can tell this podcast don't sponsor it. <laughs> and, and this, this belt as well. Is this, is this plastic? Are you, take, are you taking my belt off during this podcast? Is this what I've accepted right now? No, no, no. It's very, very nice clothing. So, uh, to, Tommy and Hillfigure, if you'd like to sponsor a really shit car channel mm. about shit cars, then. Um, you would Wreck the clothes in seconds. You, know? was, you are yeah. so grubby. I'm so grubby. You, I am very grubby. You are a grubby. We human. just we complained could... about the quality, and then you said well, if you'd like to sponsor. <laughs> no, but we could do like a new line, an auto Alex line, and not call it Tommy Hill figure. We could call it Grubby Hill figure. Oh, what? Yeah. So everything comes out oily and just a bit yeah, grubby. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the off the off cuts, and then you yeah. actually cleaner after you work on a car because yeah. it's that oh. grubby. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. No, but the quality is fantastic. You look very expensive. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is not a line of conversation I expected, but I'm enjoying it. Right. So uh, you have an F1 channel with uh, Tommy. Yes. And you've been friends for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And you started doing WTF1 together, which we'll get onto in a little bit. What have you been doing recently, except for like, you know, just building the brand up? Because a lot of people do, do already know you, but you've been doing live shows and all that, haven't you? Yeah, live shows. Um, we, we did one when we first launched a few months in, uh, in Leicester Square, which went amazingly well. So then we did a, a three venue tour uh, of London, Manchester and um, Glasgow, which was awesome, you know, to have people just turn up and buy Glasgow. tickets. And, yeah, went all the way to it's Glasgow. It's dangerous, yeah. isn't it? Well, I survived. And it's a lovely place. So, um, is it? yes. It Why was... did you wink at me when you well, said lovely place? So, you so... winked at me. No. As I'm, if to say no, you're I'm lying. Just, I'm just attracted to you. That's <laughs> um, so, so we did those those shows uh, and we've got some shows coming up in about three weeks time. Um, Are in, we going to in, those? In London, we Cambridge and Bath. So, if you want to, you know, uh, you're more than welcome. But... We, we got the one show, but it clashes with Petrol Adonis. The, the one show? The, yeah, the one... one show. Yeah, he's on the one show. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, on the one, one show. show. Wow. Am so, I? I don't know if you've not made it, have you? No, 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 okay. no, no, no. So yeah, that you got one date which is the same as Petrolatinism. So we can't, no, no, we no, can't no. make that. Yeah, because it's obviously which a, a, a far bigger show. That's a proper show. Yeah, it's a oh, far bigger show. You can tell show. how much you've been spending time with Alex, haven't you? It's you, not you our didn't show. Used to be I, like it's, that. It's, it's not, not our show. show. No, it's not our no, show. No, but you, you, for some reason, you still had a little slander in there. Matty, That's, you need to. Calm you just took it as slander. You need to calm down. You're on the Auto Alex podcast. You need to know your limits. Okay, track limits. You are overstepping the mark. As a let, warning. Let the hamster <laughs> talk. Um, but I don't know about you other dates. Are they, are they any more in London or? No, just the 14th on in, okay. in yeah, London. So, oh, what a shame. So yeah, if you oh, want, I, I don't want to be heckled if you, anyway, if so you, that's fine. If you've got nothing to do on the 14th, um, go to Petrol Edonism. Uh, so it's a better show. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there at it is. These live show, <laughs> at these live shows, what do you talk about? So we talk about Formula One. Um, but so is it a 10 minute show? Nope. It's uh, an hour and a half-ish sort of show. We... Some people think it's just a podcast. It's not. It's more of an interactive show. We get the audience involved. We do games, challenges, giveaway prizes. There's one where you take on Tommy, the encyclopedia of Formula One. Mm -hmm. You come up on stage, all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, we, we, it was, he's doing it was good hard fun. sell, isn't he? he? Is, think, yeah, you think, asked I, me about I, I it. Buy a what now? do you do about in these I shows? Think, I think numbers must be. A what bit time low. is it on? What time? Yeah. 
Uh, like seven ish, seven and a half, seven. Oh, no. We might be able we to actually, make that. We actually could make that. We might be able to make Maybe that. Maybe we do Sold a day out. in Petra. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. No, it's not. Please come. Okay. <laughs> How much no. are tickets? Uh, what? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I was just preparing. I knew you'd say that. If it's more than three pounds. What? But I'll give them for free. Don't worry. Does that include dinner and drinks? With you, if you turn up, sure. <laughs> Wait, 27 pounds. We, we could actually make this. Yeah. Yeah. We oh, could. Perfect. But you hate Formula One. So. Not, but yeah, I know. Yeah, but I just want to be there. I want to support you. That's absolute rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine. We, we've known each other for a few years and we have, we have had a laugh. We, we, do, have we, a laugh. we do have a laugh. Yeah, we, we do have we a laugh. We absolutely do have both. a laugh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But the so. one thing of like hanging out with you guys is, is realizing how much I do, as much as it is full of abuse, <laughs> miss those times <laughs> that we used to have where it was just like. Are you saying Tommy's boring? No, not at all. Okay. But Tommy doesn't slander. Does he not? Uh, no, no. no, not really. Uh, oh. Bless him, but you know to have that 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 environment. But also, is... you do everything remotely as well. A lot of things, yeah. Yeah, like I... gotta be reactive. Do you miss mate. that like slight office environment? Then the 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 whole you know team and everything. I think it... I'd be down for like a day or two if there was that table yeah. football. A week. When's the last time oh, you played table, table football? Fo oh, so long ago, yeah. years ago. Because you got quite I good dominated, at that, didn't you? dominated in the yeah, you got you yeah, got yeah, fairly yeah. good. No, yeah, 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 he, he got yeah. really good at it FIFA. Was, yeah, yeah, I did as well. Oh, yeah, God. whitewashing will that was yeah yeah. They used to play a game where if it was five goals or more without someone scoring a goal, an apology, you yeah. then had to do a written apology on Instagram <laughs> <laughs> and, and saying how shit you were and yeah. how good the other person was. And the thing that I hold against Will <laughs> is the fact that I've, I'd whitewashed him in four different countries. <laughs> In one day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what you got coming up except for the live show? What, what else are you working on? Um, we, except for the Tommy Hilfiger deal. Oh, you got God, your second yeah. channel? Oh yeah, yeah, second channel, uh, Will Knowledge, which um, Will we, Knowledge, we, Wheel Knowledge, Wheel, yes. okay, um, where we essentially try and explain Formula One um, with with more sort of informational B roll sort of visual stuff. Why don't you just to... put that on the main channel? Oh God, you sound, you, <laughs> you sound like the comment section because uh, YouTube algorithm, Alex, you should know you have two two channels as well, don't you? Oh, the algorithm so, is always with us. Yeah, yeah, always. yeah, yeah. It's just just it's guiding just you along like a, it's just there, a yeah, stiff yeah, breeze. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, love that. So stiff. Uh, wow. Um, but yes, apart from that, just covering Formula One, we actually had an interesting result of someone other than Max Verstappen winning, which has put a little bit of life back into who the won? Uh, Carlos Sainz. But Carlos, that wasn't because. Carlos Sainz. That wasn't because he beat Max Verstappen. No, it's because Max Verstappen broke down on lap three. <laughs> Did but, he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it gave us a different winner because he'd won 19 of the last 20 but races. Max, before. what? Yeah. Max yeah. would have won that race if he didn't break down there. Probably. Yeah. But we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> How's Christian Horner? Wow. That is. That, <laughs> I, I saw a picture of his penis the other day. No, no you, you, you allegedly. Allegedly. Al allegedly saw it. No, I recognised him. You no, no. saw it. <laughs> Yeah, you want to note down that time <laughs> stuff there, I think, uh, Rory. Uh, no comment on anything. Yeah. Go on. No, no comment. <laughs> so, unlike us, people in F1 will not comment on anything to do with this Christian Horner situation. Really? Because everything is alleged. Because right it's, all alleged. It's, oh, all okay. alleged. it's all alleged. It's all alleged. Which I didn't realise. I got told off for this that apparently we should have been saying allegedly, otherwise we were opening ourselves to litigation. To a lawsuit, yes. Oh. Well, I allegedly saw his alleged penis. <laughs> yeah. Did you allegedly see those text uh, messages? What? Did... Did you did you see those alleged What are you messages? up to over the next few months? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just chatting, man. Yeah. Just chilling. Yeah, just, we're yeah. just having just just yeah. pretend the cameras and the mics aren't here, man. Yeah, you know, just just relax. <laughs> okay, just relax. Oh my hand, man. It's alright. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Oh, yeah, it's wow. so cute. So soft. soft. It's really Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you moisturize. Mm. I, I actually do. No, no, I yeah, can yeah, tell. Yeah. Yeah. You're a hard working man. Yeah. So your anyway. hands are soft because you don't actually do any work. That's true. You sit at your desk and you just you just Print money, don't you, man? So, so for people listening, this is literally <laughs> Alex all the time, 24-7. Uh, and it's brilliant. Even when I'm asleep, <laughs> I'm there on the phone. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, what were you going to say to segue out of this? Um, when, when's the next F1 race you're going to? The next race we're going to? Yeah. It's a good question. Why don't you go to more F1 races? Because we have to make content. But you could make content at the F1 yeah, races. Yeah, but it's not as good. And, you, and Formula 1 are very strict about not being anywhere near the track when you are filming. You're not allowed to film. Uh, drive within... to survive? Yes, but they have a special deal. What's the special deal? money has changed hands and all sorts oh, okay. of stuff. Yeah. Know, millions of pounds. Uh, what about all these other influencers? You just turn up at track. Oh, and that's great. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's really good. It, 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 the, the, the rules are very hazy. Um, but I know for a fact if we were the ones to just drop a little video with a bit of footage, 
we'd get screwed. So okay. we play it very safe. But what about mm -hmm. doing other things where you can travel and then maybe uh, renew some series that, that were very popular in WTF1 where you visited some racetracks that I were would, abandoned? I would never renew anything from that channel. Okay. Um, we, we, we make our own okay. content. But how about if, if we came up with a new series where you like, like what? What if you went to some? Let me just go onto youtube.com forward slash some, WTF1 some, some and tracks have a look that at weren't, they, <laughs> for, they weren't tracks. They weren't forgotten. No, that that that's that's like that would be shit an idea. Uh, but, yeah, like but, uh, uh, what if they were like older tracks, like historic tracks that so again, no longer exist. This is exist a conversation anymore. that we've had off camera yeah. as well. Like, this is literally just a normal chat. <laughs> this is not a podcast. <laughs> what what Rory is effectively saying is you need to diversify man he's saying i need to go outside you need yes. to go you need to go outside you need to buy a very expensive car first to you and then you need to go and drive For that the car business. to yeah. a forgotten sorry not a forgotten uh, uh, a historic a track missing, yes a missing uh, yeah, or, yeah. Yeah. or, or uh, an uh, unremembered unremembered yes, circuit un yeah because alex there you go that's a good do, do you know where there was <laughs> unremembered tracks <laughs> do you know where there was a track that is now a historic track uh because it didn't really happen. The Nürburgring. Vietnam. Vietnam. Oh, was there? Yeah. Yes. You could and drive you your Vietnam. car. I love Vietnam. Vietnam. <laughs> Roy, can I, can I, I really want to go for a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you start with your unremembered tracks? Oh, oh that's good. Unremembered in, tracks. In, in oh, it just rolls off the tongue. It really does. <laughs> it does. That, yeah. that looks like YouTube search engine optimization at its Or finest. instead of forgotten tracks, mm. just put four gotten to be fair that series I'll get around it that yeah. series was ripped off another channel anyway so it's fine oh everything was ripped it? off yeah. everything <laughs> wow. right we'll get into more deep dive about WTF1 because I'm feeling some some wounds that I, I just really want to open up that sounds like you yeah so yeah, 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 yeah why yeah, does this yeah. sound like an episode of Trisha or something <laughs> <laughs> Trisha 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 we're gonna do a pregnancy test <laughs> who's the daddy you <laughs> It's me. Rory, what have you been up to? Uh, I've written here, stolen bike chat. Oh, oh, fuck's oh shit. Yeah, let's turn it on Rory Straight now. Come the, on. Yeah, yeah, so you're a thief. Yeah, you piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> no, so, go on, keep going. God, you're such a dickhead. So, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Ugh, dickhead. Our bike episode didn't really go as planned. Um, no, it did very well. Oh, it, it's doing well, but it's doing well because it's attracting a lot of attention because apparently there's a stolen bike in it. Has the police contacted you yet? No, so let, let, let's give the full story. We anyway, we were up in Scotland when we bought this Range Rover. We went to Martin's house and in Martin's house... Martin's he, mansion. In Martin's mansion in his abandoned car collection. Do you remember? Did you watch that episode? It was a good Fully, episode. Every second of it. Yeah. Yeah. Who's Martin? Martin is the man in the mansion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he watched it. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there was a KTM Duke that had been sitting there for years. Like it it it'd been, it'd collected a lot of moss, looked shit. Mm. Um and Martin told us basically that when we looked at it and then we did a, a car vertical check on it, it came up as a Cat D. Mm -hmm. And then we looked for the VIN numbers and stuff, which it has. It has VIN numbers in on yeah. the where it's meant to on the frame. And it's also got the engine number where it's meant to have on the engine number. And bearing in mind, we were there to buy a Range Rover L322 for Alex to give it back to him and tart it up and do all that kind of stuff. It was dark. We were rushed. Yeah. We did check out the VIN numbers and... All looks legit. Yeah. Sounds like bullshit to me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Matt. That, that sounds like a police officer's in the room right now. Um, <laughs> so anyway, yeah. How's a TT? <laughs> after looking at your comments, so what, what we, we thought, because obviously we noticed... That I'll, it, bring up, I'll bring up some comments while you're chatting. We noticed that it was a 2012 bike, uh, 2012 plate on what, yeah. I, I think we all knew at the time that that bike came out later. But the thing that we thought had happened was that the frame was still the same frame all the way out from 2012 till 2020. Oh. And it turns out they didn't. They actually changed their frame halfway through, which meant that the frame that this bike is on can't possibly be from a 2012 frame. But yeah, at the time, Martin had told us that the bike had been crashed. Um, and then the guy who had it before him had completely rebuilt the bike, new chassis, new everything. So that's where we were sort of, it really hazy on the details of mm. of where where it originally came from and everything. Uh, so I was I was looking at comments. Did you mention the fact that we joked about the fact that it was stolen? Yes, yeah, because well, we, we literally said, "Oh, it's stolen" as a joke. We, yeah, because because we checked the VIN and we were like, going, yeah. we literally had the logbook and we're reading the VIN off the side of the frame where it's meant to be, and then realised that we we're like, "Oh, well, it's got the VIN on the frame." Yeah. So I've got a couple of comments here from the video that we released on when was it? Three days ago. Um, so that would be what I don't know, twenty 
23rd, something like that, 22nd. Yeah. Uh, so Leuven Life has written, oh, Rory, what have you done? That bike is the later model. The frames are different and it isn't possible to fit the later parts to the older bike. I work with bikes and have experience with both of these models. You have a cloned stolen motorcycle. Best you can do is involve the police and try not to get so excited every time you see something for sale. I mean, I mean, fair. Yeah, yeah. we did get quite excited. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. Um, so speaking of that, that is exactly what we are going to do. Uh, we are going to... What? Yeah, yeah, we are going... I go thought we were just going to... Are you handing it over? Oh, no, no, I thought we were no, just going to brush what, it under no, the this, what, this is what we're saying on the podcast. Oh, okay. we'll just brush there, it. Isn't yeah. there a guy who's going to buy it like yeah, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Joke. <laughs> Jesus, calm down. Yeah, it was a joke. Um, so, shut, shut up, you <laughs> troublemaker. <laughs> so yeah, was, what we're going to do is basically try and find out what the actual VIN is. Unfortunately, yeah. because there's only two locations on this bike where you've got identification markers and both of them seem to have the correct VIN according to our paperwork on, um, either, either the bike has somehow been rebuilt on a new chassis mm -hmm. or those have been completely removed and then someone's gone through the effort of then smoothing out the bike, uh, putting it over, like fillering it up, then re-etching in yeah. a new VIN over the top. Which by... May I add, it's a lot of effort. It's a lot of effort. For yeah, a bike a that is not worth a lot of money, even yeah. new. Um, yeah. And then, so what we're going to do, yeah, we'll probably try and take it to KTM first, uh, a dealer. Yeah. And then hopefully there might be a VIN on the actual ECU yeah. that we might be able to then find and then we'll be able to find the original plate yeah. of, the, of the vehicle. But yeah, the, the main issue is this bike has been on this plate for three or four years now mm -hmm. so the uh, and all you people saying oh yeah no it needs to go to its an original owner that won't be its original owner anymore the owner will be an insurance company because yeah. he Cause, would, uh, yeah to, to add as well that bike was in martin's garden for what two three years two three years yeah something and it yeah. was it was i mean it was scrap it yeah, was yeah genuinely scrap yeah yeah sure it, the engine worked but everything around it has been rebuilt and there's been i don't know how much money has been if you include the exhaust, there's... There's probably about 1,500 quid yeah, put into yeah, that yeah. bike now. Yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah. I've, yeah, I, I, I don't really know what to do now. Yeah. It's it's a bit of a difficult yeah. situation. But the point is, we hear you, we've read the comments, and we are going to investigate. And, yeah, we, we you know, if it comes to having to tell the police, we don't know if they'll be able to do anything, but we will do what's necessary. Because it is actually quite an interesting story, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. What do you do in this situation when you've got no identification markers mm. left? You've got, you've done everything you can from your sell side. It. You just sell it. <laughs> what happens to your money, Rory? Huh? If you hand it over, what happens to your money? I lose it. That's gone. Yeah. That's all right. You can afford it. <sighs> That's true. That. That's yeah, true. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. It, it's yeah. It's a bit of a shit situation. Um, situation. But at least the bike has been restored, which is nice. So yeah, the happy so, outcome is so a lovely. Okay, it got stolen and then it got just abandoned, and now it's now it's cut. It, it could be back on the road soon with an MOT. Almost likely, it will go back to an insurance company that will, you know, one of these massive insurance companies that takes shitload of money off. No, people. we'll take them on. Sorry, sorry, not that. We'll take them on. Okay, okay, we'll take them on. Okay. Not angry at all. Right? Not angry at all. No fucking insurance companies. Um, yeah, and that's really the bike update. So does that kind of mean that I'm currently harboring stolen goods? Am I now an accomplice? We, we don't know. That is the thing. We don't know still. Yeah, but you are from Birmingham. So that is true. My yeah. guess is it's probably next. Yeah. Yeah. Rory has a taste for these things. He does. He really but does. We are on it. We will find yeah. out yeah. what will happen and we'll probably release a video on it. We will. We will just to shut you up. <laughs> <laughs> I think loads of people are butthurt because their bikes got stolen and they never saw them, which is fair enough. Yeah. So we're now on the you know, opposite end of that. We are the recipient of your stolen bikes but we will yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> anyway as for me what have i been up to um weekend i spent helping my friend james who has a hyundai coupe uh third generation coupe that's been parked up outside his house for about six months he is a former tennis coach he's a massage therapist blah 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 and um, the car has had some issues and it's just been parked up. So he's been using his girlfriend's car. And now the council have been getting involved and someone said it's abandoned and blah, blah, blah. And you're switching off, aren't you? Oh, cars. cars. No, no, no. I, cars. Did he give you a massage for helping? No, not yet. Okay. Not yet. But that, that is in the pipeline. So I took my F11, my beloved. Matt doesn't even know what a Hyundai is. <laughs> it's aren't like, you saying it wrong? It's Hyundai. Not, it's, Hyundai. They, yeah. Didn't yeah. They change Hyundai. the way you actually they're, say They're it, at yeah. the back of the grid, aren't they, Hyundai? They're not on the grid, but oh. yeah, I guess technically they would be at the back if they How were. How do you know? 
Why technically? They could be good. They they could, and they could also be bad. <laughs> but thank you for including me in Formula with some Formula One. You go. I can. I'm going. Right, Matty, shut up now. I'm, I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to go and pick up James's uh, coupe on the back of my trailer with my F11. I love my F11. My five series, five thirty D. Great car, isn't it? Yeah, great car. The touring. So you are not sixty and four. Go on. 4.1, lovely. I wish, I <laughs> wish. No, it's a 530D, Matty. Ah, of course, yeah. The so D, it would be... The diesel, yeah. About... Oh, well done. Yeah, so and it would it's, be... Uh, it's a three litre... Yes. <laughs> well, fuck, okay. Five fit. series, yeah. yeah, yeah well, how many is, cylinders? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. are worse than Ethan. Yeah, what, oh what, yeah. What is BMW famous for? They're, they're Cars. famous for... it. moving on. <laughs> no, they're, they're famous for a type of engine. It's straight... Six. Oh, go on, girl. <laughs> that was a complete roll of the dice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I picked up James's Hyundai Coupe. It is on the back of the trailer, and we are going to fix it up for my friend James because uh, he needs a car to get about. So that's what I did. And I just spent Sunday on my sofa. We bought a new sofa. It's got one of those reclining ones. So you press a button, and it goes. And you can do the head one as well, up and down like that. And just sat on the sofa all day, just watching maths, Married at First Sight. You must love no, a bit of Married at First Sight. It's a very good program. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think Australia of Lauren? Or just yeah. Australia. Of course. No, it's got to be Australia. What do you yeah, think of Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched the latest season. Have you not? What? No, no, no. I'm what do you not. think oh. of Lauren? Oh. Well, mm. Rory, you're in a relationship. I, I, you, you're... Tory. I like Tory. It, so so you're, you're, you're too far behind. You, you don't know about... Oh, oh. Oh. <sighs> Oh, oh, you can't do look. spoilers, can you? Can you? Surely. So I'm, I'm Jack is a dick. That is that is. Which one's Jack? Jack is the one with Tory. To oh, of course he's a dick. He's no, got a no. man bun. No, no, you, you wait. You oh, wait. Oh, Does he get oh juicy? My God, man. Oh. Jack comes out as like like the most. I knew. It. I had a feeling. Like, I would almost say it's domestic abuse. Like, oh, shit. yeah, genuinely. Like, like he he's probably like I've never seen a point on maths history where the guy's sitting down and you know John. Uh, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. sitting there. And he's basically just sitting there. And then he's, Jack's talking and trying to get his way out of something. And then yeah. John just goes. And, oh, he, really? and he won't even look at him. <gasps> and, then there's, and then there's a one point where he then turns to all of the other guys and is like, why have you all let this happen? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, God, it gets so juicy. If you don't watch maths, Married at First Sight Australia. Then it's on Channel 4. Channel 4, yeah. Forget about cars. All right, yeah. Cars are boring. <laughs> Married at first sight is the shit. It is. Oh, it's so good. This is not what I expected to be speaking about. You know about what? This podcast. Literally, Matt, Matt said he was like, "You do know I know nothing about cars." I was like, "Don't worry, we don't talk about cars." <laughs> <laughs> Married at first sight. That's yeah. I love it is. It's, it's so, so good. good. Oh, it's so oh. addictive. Yeah. Oh, especially when you're on a nice new sofa and you've got a beer and you're just watching it and you're just like, oh, it's all kicking off and I'm so comfortable and I'm underneath my blanket. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> you're so old. You are I'm so, so old. old. I'm so old. I don't know anyone with a recliner surfer. Surfer? 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 I've yeah, never heard of a recliner surfer. Recliner <laughs> sofa. <laughs> yeah. Who's less than 50 years old. Nah, come on. You lo Everyone loves a reclining sofa. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. You get yeah, ones with like USB ports in now. Mine's got everything. USB ports. As it, no, it, does, it does. It does. Oh. It, oh. Is it black leather? No, no, no. We didn't go for leather. Okay. We went for, um, it's like Alcantara. Alcantara. Mm, wow. <sighs> this podcast is doing quite well. Thanks for listening. Mm. It was quite expensive, actually. <laughs> yeah. It was quite expensive. Okay. Um, but yeah, USBs and everything. All right. What else have you not to? And the headrests all around. Oh, yeah. Okay. They, let's they let's move on. Let's move on from the... What else have I been up to? Was that the most exciting thing? Your sofa? Sitting on my sofa watching maths. <laughs> it was good. It was very, very good. Uh, and then I'm, you know, the most exciting thing of this week is I'm with my good friend, oh, Matty, from Nora. P1 and, oh, from look P1 at, and look Tommy. Look how censored he is. He doesn't swear as well. Like I, I don't ever swear on, a, on, on our podcast, ever. Not not one. Just to make sure it's as PG but as possible. in real life, you are... Oh, I swear all the fucking time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no we, we we don't swear on you just, you, we're gonna you have you're, don't. you're more sweary than me on the podcast. Do you think? Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Mm. Wait, you don't swear on the podcast. I've heard at least 10 swear words. Yeah. No, no, we do swear. We do swear. We're a little bit sweary, but it's no, okay because our audience are adults, unlike yours, who are children. Yours oh. are children. No, they're not. They are children. No, they're not. They are. No, they're not. I feel like get most your, F1 fans your, now Let me see your... Children. You want to see the analytics? I want to yeah, see yeah, your yeah. back end Absolute. right now. Oh, hello. <laughs> Come on. YouTube <laughs> studio. <laughs> Should we get our YouTube studios out? Oh, no. We're getting... We're, there we're we go. Oh, my God. This is literally... This is like six years ago all over again. I'm having flashbacks here. Oh, no, it's good flashbacks. Let me see your penis. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, tell me they're all children. Right now, go on. 
What's the biggest age demographic? Read it out. Read it out. 13 to 17. <laughs> <laughs> that is bollocks. That is 2.2%. 2. 2%. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 18 wait. to 24, 29%. Audience. 25 to 34, 41%. Right. Here we go. Ours is a mature audience. Look at, look okay, at, look at have... my, look at the, the mature audience. 13 to oh, 17. A lot, a lot of 13 to 17, yeah. 1%. What's yours? 2.2. Oh, that's more than that's double. That's massive. How, You've got what's more your 65 than plus? double. 65 plus 1.5. 1.3. <laughs> But I think you've got a lot of 45 to 64, Right, so 25 to 34, 38.5% of you guys. 41%, so we're in tune with the... 35 to 44? Oh. Come on. Uh, 16%. <laughs> I do, I do apologise for this. I know this is very boring to listen 20. to. 209 I don't know what Are that you means. Just, I love how you're, you're, you're like, <laughs> ha, do I Do you want appeal. to stop playing top trumps with your, <laughs> with your, with your numbers? Right, yeah, okay. Alex. Another one. Uh, Top, sub, top subtitle CC languages. No, no subtitles. Eighty nine point eight percent. High or low? Wait, what? Eleven percent of people watch with subtitles on? No way. No, uh, no, no. Well, no. English is six point nine percent. Yeah, so. but so that means no subtitles. Yeah, so eleven percent of people are li are watching with subtitles on. Yeah, where do you see this? That's because you're from Birmingham. Could no one can understand no, what true. you're saying? I'm not the one that's speaking all the time. You are. Wow. Well, maybe you need to shut up, and then we'll just see if these numbers change. <laughs> well, <laughs> this has taken a nosedive this podcast really yeah. Jesus Christ we've got very distracted <sighs> we did right um, Shedfest announcement do you want to do it Matty do it what do you mean Shedfest announcement yeah yeah tell them our day okay everybody tell listen up Shedfest is coming uh, in two months time <laughs> uh, and it is going to be a Gosh. 10 day festival tickets <laughs> are available from £450 <laughs> There is a VIP meet and greet package uh, where it's actually cheaper if you meet Rory. Um, <laughs> bye now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, that was close enough. Cool. Let's yeah, move yeah. on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you're kind of accurate, um, except for the whole 10-day festival thing. It's just one day, oh, I'm anyone, afraid. Oh, is that it? But yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah. coming, aren't you? When is it? On the day. It's on the day. Oh, yeah, come on. On the May, the, it's, it's... May the 14th, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nearly. Star May the 4th. Wars. Uh, May the 4th. May yeah. the 4th be with oh, you. okay, cool. And also with you. Amen. Yeah, amen. May the 4th, Mallory Park. It's yep. a racetrack. Yeah, is yeah. it? Yeah. You yeah. know what racetracks are, don't you? Yeah, I know. That thing, yeah. Oh, Formula One. Woo! <laughs> woo! 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 <laughs> Formula One is so boring, isn't it? <laughs> it is, the best thing that happened to Formula One recently was a whole Christian Horner controversy. No comments. So, so, so let, me put, let me put the 4th of May down in the old yeah, calendar. Put it yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. Put it so in there. I, th I think we're going to have uh, Top Dead Center, a slot. Yeah. There's a load of other YouTubers. Yeah. Uh, two other YouTubers who will be... Familiar faces. Familiar faces. Um, oh, yet yeah. to be announced. Yeah, yet to be announced. Do you know, that? You know do you, that, yeah. Do you know who they are? No. No. Oh. No. You've never met them before. You never worked with them before. Oh. No. You shut your dirty little mouth. <laughs> oh. Uh, so yeah, May the 4th, Mallory Park, um, celebration of uh, ship boxes, high mileage heroes, project cars. Tavares is going to be there. Top Dead Center, Drive Tribe, Mike Brewer. My good friend, Matty. Yay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's a piece of shit, isn't he? Oh, God. So first and last time. Well, you know what it is? It's because he doesn't get recognized. Oh, he oh. I, I wondered if that was going to be in the sheet. <laughs> Sorry, could you just recap the, the whole worst day of I've, my life? I've forgotten, forgotten about that. It was that time when, we, where were we, Matt? Was it, was it somewhere like a car meet or something? Or was it a Formula One place? I can't That's remember. It. Uh, so funny, aren't you? Was, just, was it somewhere oh, in the Midlands? So funny. No, no, was it a little track no, in the Midlands or no, something? No, no, I think or it just was... Just off the M40, was oh, it? What's like a famous car... Tr uh, no, Formula One track, sorry, Formula... Uh, uh, oh, uh, gold, Goldwater. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, no, the, no, no, it's no, the opposite no, of that, no, isn't no. it? Sil silver. <laughs> Silverstone. Is it Silverstone? It's Silverstone, yeah, yeah. yeah. At the museum with all the F1 cars and memorabilia and everything. Oh. So this is, this is like... Matty's stomping ground. Yeah, yeah, like, like, wait. Everyone's yeah, going like, to Look, when, when I used to film with Matty when he was famous. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, was this like, when he used to work at WTF1? Yeah, this was when he was at WTF1. Yeah, yeah, the like, we, one. we couldn't go anywhere in a Formula One thing without him getting stopped. I'd really? Have, I was standing there with my camera, like, going, really? <laughs> oh, no. I'll wait for him to sign this, whatever. Uh, God, this is a long story. And then, anyway, uh, we're there. Matty didn't get it recognised once. What? No, not At once. Silverstone? No, I was really shocked. But Silverstone's an F1 track yeah. and you do, what do you do? What's I your actually YouTube had, I had channel? a message to, from a person who said that they, they didn't want to come over because, no, I was with a hamster. So uh, <laughs> they, they saw that I was busy. But um, yeah, one of the worst moments of my life, actually, uh, having so someone happened? come over 
to us in the canteen uh, when we were just What'd getting some me? food. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, that's off camera. Uh, I know you said you swear sometimes. Um, yeah, and then someone, because <laughs> I thought, oh, they might come and say hello. Oh, Rory. <laughs> At that point, I wanted the world to swallow me up. Like it was, I was like, what is going on? And the funny thing is, there's another thing I haven't told you, Rory. Where oh, no. Oh. I was live streaming on Twitch for one of the, uh, watch on, I can't remember what it was. And I saw someone in chat <laughs> literally say, oh my God, Matt, you know Rory? <laughs> <laughs> Safe to say I permanently banned that user. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is good. Oh. Yeah, that's good. So, oh, so this what, is so good. What is Rory like, Alex, when he's getting you know people are coming up to him speaking to him like what is oh, he I'm not like I he would know i don't know because i get recognized yeah. like you oh so you don't ever see him chatting to people well no it's because i'm always busy chatting to oh, people busy yeah, yeah. i mean he, he's yeah, also, yeah. also apparently more busy than you chatting to people Let, let's face oh, it look, if, wow. if, if we're ever in a crowd of people mm. and then they've got alex and taylor and me they're not coming to me first man. <laughs> they're, they're they're like, no 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 they go no, to these you're a bit more approachable rory no 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 he's not no 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 at the end of the evil laugh at the You're end of the day, <laughs> they go to Taylor first, then Alex, then me. Don't you dare! Look, look no. Taylor's Ooh. more popular. I'm sorry. Oh, Shut your. I'm shit. sorry. Filthy little mouth. I'm sorry. Oh, everyone, honestly, when Taylor's a bit late to shows and he doesn't get there, everyone comes up to the stand. They're trying to find like, oh, and then Alex is like, God. "You're right," and and then they're like, oh, "When's Taylor coming?" Oh shit, Rory, I was backing you here with yeah, Matty. Yeah, now, yeah, why are you doing I, I could tell that you were going to turn. There's only so long that you can back me for before you you, don't, you turn. Yeah. So I thought I'd get in there first. Fair. Wow. That, you've completely not my confidence. <laughs> I, I legit don't know what to say. I have no, I have no riposte, no nothing. The first time ever in history yeah. you don't have a talk. Right, Matty, do you want to lead it? Because you're actually a very good podcast. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> compliment. Surely not. Surely not. So anyway, Shed Fest, May the 4th. Uh, get your tickets now because they are selling out very fast and uh, yeah we've got a stage we're going to do podcasting as well so Matty if you come you can bore everyone for an hour, for an hour talking about F1 no it's fine no one wants to hear that no you're right yeah. you are right yeah. which is why I find it extortionate that you're, you you expect people to spend £27 yeah how, on, how much is you? your shed fest not £27 pounds, it's about it? 14 quid. yeah yeah uh, but people just no they're actually getting something out of it sorry how many oh. tickets do you sell for your shows how many yeah. how many subscribers do you have <laughs> <laughs> London's a thousand person venue, but you know. Uh -huh. Is that it? Yeah. It's oh, a, what? Oh, cute. Well, what? we're like 15,000. 15,000. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. a field's bigger than a theatre. You can only have well, then, theater, so. well, then hire a field. It's cheaper. Hire a field to do a live show. Yeah. If, uh, yeah. You might be on You won't something. hire a field, will you? What? You won't hire a field. Is that like a bet? And I'm yeah, going, yes, yeah, I will it's hire. A, I'm double dog daring. And then you. I go and hire a field. Yeah. Yeah. May, may I add, just, can you hear this binging from yes. Alex's phone? Do you yeah. want to know why that is? Oh, because he's really popular and famous. No, it's, no, it's it's, Jim, it's Jimmy Broadbent. It's because it. What? Is it? It's, yeah, it's actual Jimmy Broadbent. Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, that's how what fucking Jimmy famous. Oh, <laughs> right, it's, it's because Alex is so old that he's programmed his new iPhone's camera button, a uh, shortcut button, to be a camera because you know they've removed the little flicky switch mm. now. And he doesn't know how to put it into silent mode. <laughs> I do. <laughs> no, Look, you, you don't. No, you swipe down. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then you press the button. Well, why don't you Shut do it then? Mouth. Why don't you do it then? Well, because he forgot. Cause no, he's... just in case people like Jimmy Broadbent message me. We're like, oh, it's Jimmy Broadbent. And then that shuts you what, up. Why, why does it shut me up? What, what's Jimmy Because you were impressed. What does yeah, Jimmy want? That's exciting. Yeah. You know. What does he want? Yo, dude, hope all is well. It's been a pleasure watching you kill it recently. Yeah. Look, he actually said kill it recently. He said, oh, look, thanks for <laughs> the nudes. Kill Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> the content is outstanding. I thought you might enjoy seeing the MX-5 in its final form. <gasps> wow. I was right back saying, no. Why, no. Why, why don't you give me a phone call like you always like, do on a this podcast? This private message has just been aired. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Sorry, Jimmy Broadbent. I should have asked your uh, permission for that. You know, I don't want to get in nah, trouble with lawyers. Professional. Oh, you're not going to phone him like you always do. <laughs> you're all right. <laughs> Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Love this. Do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Best. Alex Love always has this thing as well on podcasts where we just randomly start phoning people. Uh, is... Who should we phone? <gasps> Let me see your phone book. <laughs> absolutely. Wait. Not. You can't unlock it. It's fine. No. <laughs> 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 no, you're not unlocking. No. <laughs> should we phone Tommy? Wait, hold on. We can phone Tommy. Oh, wait, wait, let's wait. phone Tommy. Wait, 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 wait. What I are have... you about to do? What wait. is he doing? To wait, hack wait. into my I'm phone sorry. or something. Nah. You oh, God. Gallagher. Why are you Googling me? Why are you, 
net worth. What? Wait, net, <laughs> four pounds seventy. I didn't. Know, I didn't know numbers went that high. <laughs> why have you got pictures of me up on? Why is oh, why God, is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> that, that will not work. He's trying to unlock what? my phone with a Google. Why won't it work? <laughs> because it knows depth. Yeah. Come depth. On, yeah. It, actually, Matty's got no did, depth. Did, did, <laughs> well, that was good. That was good. That was oh. good. I've no. <laughs> give me my phone. Right. Back. Right. Let me let me see. Who's your most famous person in your phone book right now? Go. We're really playing this game. Yeah. yeah. That is crazy. Come on. Who's yours? Mine? Yeah. Uh, it's probably my own number. That's fucking wild. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, pr- it's probably going to be Mike Brewer. I think people people probably... I mean, I've got Freddie. You, I've got Matt Armstrong. Would you say Chris Harris is... I wouldn't say Chris Harris is as famous as... Tavares? No. America. It's a big place, man. No, Chris Harris is way more famous than Tavares. All right. Yeah. Well, maybe Chris... Uh, my you bro, got to remember, my, my you got remember got Top, Gear, Top Gear, British Top Gear was broadcast everywhere. Yeah, yeah, but that was like the... the no, even, even even their series still was. All right, okay. Well, Mike Brewer from We Do Dealers. That okay. is broadcast around the whole world. All right, world. fair. Yeah. I'll, give you, I'll give you Brewer. Right, so Matt, what, what numbers are we talking about? Huh? How many, how many, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. I, I know for a fact Matt has bigger people. <laughs> Come on, let's see, let's see. Oh, I hate playing this game, it's horrible. <laughs> come on, come on. I, I know for a fact he does because I've been over his shoulder when we were at an event <laughs> and when one of them was texting him. <laughs> Who you been texting, Matt? People. Um, what F1 drivers look, have you got in your phone book? <sighs> Do you know, Matt? Charlotte Claire. Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte and Claire. Oh, Charlotte and Claire, yes. <laughs> they are both lovely. Are you trying to say that? Oh, who's or Lando bigger? Norris. Yeah, who's bigger? Lando Charlotte Claire's bigger. I think. Okay, okay. But I mean, they're both, yeah. All right, let's phone up Lando. Absolutely not. Why? Because there's PR reasons for that, that, you know, we're on a podcast right now and yeah. approvals have to be made. And I know for a fact you will not be making well, any Well, no, we'll say, all right, Lando, you're on, you're on a podcast. Please do not say fuck off. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? What I know, happened I know in, you're the, in this car world in the race? And it's a bit more like, yeah, hold out your hand and all that lanty stuff. Yeah. You know? for, for Formula One, it's a lot more, all right. more protected. I'm well, sorry, though. All right, um, how about footballers? Footballers. Have you got a footballer? Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, but <laughs> Who's the footballer? Or golfers. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> what is this? He's got a famous golfing friend. <laughs> yes, I do, but that's. Are you by still the friends? Bike. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love this podcast. What, what is going on? Doing? Right, question <laughs> for you. This is so good. So back in the day when I used to work at Car Throttle and you used to work at WTF1, mm. when you were famous, oh, um, you had that golfing friend who was like, you were like, oh yeah, he's, oh, where he's are very you, successful. Where are you going yeah, with this? He's very successful. He's very successful. Now, would you say that you Ooh. earn more than him? No. Really? I earn more than him? Yeah. No. Really? He just signed to live golf for 50 million pounds. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Tyrrell Hatton. Tyrrell. All right, Tyrrell. Yeah. Does he do sponsorships? Um, I could get into golf. Uh, you would be so shit at golf. I could get, I could learn. I'd Your love, ADHD would, would kick to, in. You'd do I one could, hole and go, yep, that's enough. Yeah. I could, I could, I'd that's why I got married. That. <laughs> 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 oh, I'd shit. love to see you play golf. Yeah? yeah? You like golf, don't you? I don't mind it. No, it's right. a horrible sport, but it is shit. Isn't it? Yeah. I always yeah. felt like at Car Throttle, there was that little golfing click that they would always go golfing together. Yeah, I think they were yeah. so much better than everyone else. Oh, just because you're so jealous. It, it, oh, where's my invite? Oh, oh. <laughs> the real Matty is coming out now. <laughs> I just <laughs> needed to tease it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He started off all nice, but look, everybody, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you bully me into submission, I will eventually lash out. <laughs> <laughs> just like that man on maths. Do you remember when they were having the argument? And then he was like, "But I do at the um, at the at the table yes, thing." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Collins. Oh, Co- oh my God, Collins! Don't talk to me about. Is, He's a paid actor. Is this 100% the series that I've seen actor. one clip of where the woman said she looked like Megan Fox? No, 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 no. That uh, is Love no, is Blind. Yeah. Uh, that is also fantastic. Yeah, oh, I love Love, love is love Blind. blind. <gasps> I can't believe you don't watch more reality shit. I mean, you have nothing but time. Oh. Thank you. You do a 20 minute podcast, you upload it. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just sit in your knickers all day. <laughs> no, no, he streams as well. He streams. I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Hardworking yeah, businessman. Yeah. I always yeah. phone Matt in the evenings and he never picks up. He's always like, oh, I'm streaming. Well, I'm yeah. streaming. Sorry, you know, just doing work. But, you know. And there's always, it's always, I know when Rory's ringing me because he's driving home and he has nothing <laughs> better to do. And he goes, yeah, well, yeah, I've got nothing, you know, got free time. You know, I'm so busy with my country farm and my girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> Have you got a dog yet? Uh, no, we're working on it. Yeah, we're shock. On yeah, it. shock. Yeah. Just typical. I want a dog. Mm-hmm. To kill the rats. 
to kill the rats. Yeah. You got rats. Got a few little rats there nesting. Get a cat, mate. That'd be much easier, surely. Cats are shit. No, no one wants a cat. Are no, you a just, cat person? No, but no. Just to get Matt's the rats. a dog person. Why haven't you got a dog? Because it... you're at home all day. You I can look after a, one. I saw a picture of you with a dog. It's my mum's dog. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that picture of you. No, oh, you are not. You are not on your phone. Are you, are you <laughs> on <what>? your phone? <laughs> the picture with you and your dog on your phone. Which dog? you handed me your phone and there was a picture of you with your dog. No, it wasn't. There was. <laughs> <laughs> That Do you is... know what I mean? Huh? When we were looking through the pictures of, of Matty on his phone. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, there was a picture of Matt yeah. and a dog on and his I, phone. And I said, oh, I think I think you look more handsome in that picture. <laughs> Anything left on the old um, <laughs> on the old dog? Am I wrong? I saw a picture of you with a dog. <laughs> yeah, you, I'm sure you did. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why are you what making are you it doing? weird, man? <laughs> <laughs> Roy's literally choking up right now. I love it. <laughs> Oh, this is on shit. World podcast. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> why did you leave WTF1? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you, go, now you go to the questions. Yeah, like, now it's the juicy stuff. So how far were it into the podcast are uh, we? Well, we got a mine and off probably six minutes that got cut out. Why so. is that? Why, <laughs> why, why do we need to mine the uh, six minutes out? Because you, you can't hold your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> So we're at 45 minutes. Okay. Bloody 45 hell. minutes in and we're about to ask our first question. <laughs> We've spoken a lot about maths as well. Yeah. I'm excited Very for tonight's important. episode. So, right, WTF1. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? Great. Everyone's going to think that we're absolutely pissed. Yeah. yeah so, all right, so, so bring it back a few years. Mm. Uh, so Tommy started the, was it a Twitter account called WTF1, right? Yeah, he started, yeah, many, many years ago. Yeah. Facebook. Is that 10 years sort of ago? Easily. Easily. Maybe yeah, 13, yeah, yeah. 13, 14. You were in your kitchen doing race reviews, weren't you? I had my own little YouTube channel yeah, doing which silly was things. Called... Yes. Uh, called X Matty G. Yeah. X -Matty. Oh, X Matty G. Yeah, I remember and, that. Uh, X Matty G. What was the rage? Yeah. rage? I never kitchen watched Rage something. Kitchen. Yeah. Rage Kitchen. And yeah, just, just silly videos because I, I used to work in schools doing counselling for, for, for teenagers. And You were never a counsellor. Yeah, I was. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. I'll really? need counselling after this podcast. But <laughs> are you just gonna are you just gonna go home, look in the mirror, <laughs> and chat to yourself? You're not who you thought you were. Man. <laughs> you just have your hand against the mirror. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Alex will always be better than me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I never said better. I said fast, okay. <laughs> which probably hurts you more. Than yes, that. yeah, yeah, that's worse. Um, okay, so yeah, you were doing that. Tommy was doing that, and then um, I was working at Car Throttle at the time, and. Adnan, who was the owner of Car Throttle, said, oh, yeah, let's let's expand and start an F1 channel. So mm. reached out to Tommy and then I think effectively what bought Tommy and the brand. And then we were all looking for a presenter mm. and that turned out to be you. To be me. Yeah. Yeah. Which I is... mean, we looked high and low mm. yep. and he was well, actually was the only one. 15 seconds of serious conversation. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was, let's do a little bit more abuse. Um, no, but we looked at a lot of F1 presenters and uh, you were the... Bleh, bleh. <laughs> You were the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you're pretty good at what you do. So, oh, thanks, yeah. mate. So, you, so you, are you. you, you are, shut up. What? Stop it. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I thought we were doing something there. No, shut no? up. All right, cool. Never compliment me Dick. again, unless you're <laughs> naked. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you, you then were the face of WTF1. Mm -hmm. And you were the face of WTF1 for many, many years, while I was in, effectively the face of Carthroll. And yep. we were working alongside each other, and it was it good were. fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you, why are you look no, nervous? No, I'm not nervous yeah. at all. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, you are, you know, you do say words that maybe, words. yeah, don't process in your brain first. <laughs> they just come out. How were those formative years at WTF1? They were life-changing. Uh, they were absolutely, you know, a dream, a dream job, but something I never thought I'd ever do. You're welcome. Um, there you go. <laughs> sure. And Let me get this straight as well, because you joined WTF1, and then I think within two months... You got one of your an opportunity, which I don't think you'll probably ever get again. No, which <gasps> was which was driving a Formula One car. Yep, which I get abused all the time for even remotely even thinking about it in my own brain. Alex, like, oh, what? you drove a Formula One car, didn't you, mate? <laughs> which is is it because you cried? Yeah, I do cry a little bit. Yeah. You, and I, and you I cry driving, don't, no, we're not you that. Cry driving don't a Lamborghini. It oh, wasn't even that my special. God. Oh, for a minute. Oh, mummy. Mummy. Oh, <laughs> it, was so, oh, it was so emotional. Mummy. It was everything. It was I can great. tell you really get the best out of your guests on your podcast. <laughs> do you know what? Emotive stories. <laughs> do you know what I do? Because this is the real you. This is the you off camera. I just got to tease it out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, you got to drive a Renault F1 car. Mm. The V10, wasn't it? 
V8. V8, okay. Yeah. Close yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's still it, loud. It wasn't that good then, was it? <laughs> <laughs> No, but it was good. So the video did very well. It did. And that for you was a life highlight. Absolutely. Has that ever been matched? No, and it never really? will be. Yeah, exactly. Oh. I mean, driving a Formula One car, as, as Rory said, like only a couple of months into starting. And it was funny because the, the, the actual opportunity came through for my old channel that had like 50k subscribers. X Maddie G. Yeah, and it was, you know, and I'm thinking, God, why have I joined WTF? <laughs> I'm getting opportunities like this. But obviously brought it into the company and then everyone was like, what? You're going to, because I thought it was a spam email because it was really badly translated into English from a French agency. Oh, really? Uh, but I replied anyway going, all right. Because at the bottom it said, you will drive the RS blah, blah, blah. And I was like, that's the 2012 Lotus Kimi Raikkonen rebranded into. Re re so obviously I replied going, sure. Yeah. Like, I'll hear about it. Turned out to be real. So. Uh, Damn. Yeah. So what would you think? Because like, would you say it's more special driving a Formula One car pre- hybrid and everything like that than driving like if you got a chance to drive a hybrid one now 100 percent. yeah i think that the car that i drove as i said was a v8 obviously it's not you know the v10s or whatever you know there's always somewhere to be improved with Alex, <laughs> but, um but but just the 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 raw feel of it was just something you know just to hear that engine singing i mean i had no time to appreciate it because i was too busy shitting my pants <laughs> to just not bin it or and crying yeah well yeah just <laughs> couldn't see at all um, and you know, I, only, I literally only got going out the pits one out lap, then one lap it around, and then straight back into the pits. And it was half of Silverstone, so it was over in so four or five minutes. One thing I wanted to always ask actually about this: yes, was the car limited? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the, <laughs> they never told me that, and they never expected. So it was me and a competition winner that got to be able to drive this Formula One car. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the competition winner went out first and was like really tooling around, like clearly yeah, quite yeah. nervous. I got in it and was like, well, I'm never going to drive a Formula One car again. I will be pressing this as hard as I possibly can. So, so I've gone out of the pits and, you know, I've got to press it. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, where's my ass? <laughs> like, like, it was okay. Uh, and then sort of came, came around to, to the first straight and then just sent it. And, you know, the, the acceleration wasn't limited. You know, you, yeah. could, you could feel that, my Jesus, you, know, you could see my head bobbing up and down because you've got no neck muscles for that kind of G-force. And, um, and then going past... The, the pit wall for the first time, all the Renault mechanics are looking out to see you know, me coming past. And apparently they were really sort of upset and, really? and, and, and concerned <gasps> because they didn't think I was going to hit the limiter, but I did on several occasions because oh, I, yes. I was sending it. And yeah, it turned out afterwards they were like, oh, no, you didn't know they were going to... No one gave go, you the brief. Like that. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, no one told me to take it easy. Yeah. Everyone's like, you know, trail the brakes in. Like, okay, fine. Absolutely. Because like, how, how much do you reckon that car... Like, how much is a used working oh, F1 car wor wor I worth? Don't, like Millions. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a priceless piece of kit. Yeah. Um, didn't think about that at the time. You know? <laughs> I mean, I, you've got I, to I take your opportunity. Yeah, I didn't you? read the letter that I signed either probably too well. <laughs> Otherwise, I might have been in debt for the rest of my life. Uh, had it, uh, had no, it would have been WTF1's issue. Yeah, true, yeah, to yeah, be yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> would have put that on then. But, um, but yeah, it was uh, a day I will remember as if it was yesterday. That's I can, amazing. I, I'd soaked in every single moment. That's so cool. Yeah. And speaking of WTF1's issue, you are now no longer WTF1's issue. No. As of what, a year ago or so, right? Yep, handed in my notice at the end of 2022. Played out three months of uh, of the notice period and then left uh, in January. And yeah. a lot of people ask me, why did I leave Car Throttle and start Auto Alex? Mm. So I'm going to now ask you, why did you leave WTF1? I feel like it would be a very similar journey and a similar thinking uh, for both of us um, because... Yeah, and I, we got. Yeah, two, you, you both obviously speaking to me, and uh, oh, oh, here sorry, we go. This is where sorry, Rory's, sorry, sorry. Rory's we, we, now going to basically sorry. say, "I am the mastermind uh, behind both T one and Auto Alex." Well, that's crazy. That is. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I Rory, mean, fair enough. Yeah. Rory, <laughs> Rory, when are you going to leave Auto Alex and start your own thing? I have said oh, this. Me, to me and Taylor times. have already started yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're actually What's just waiting. Uh, we've we've actually recorded six videos already. Have you? Yeah, yeah. What's it called? It's called. Mm -hmm. Fatties, uh, oh. Fatties do cars. Fatties do cars. Yeah, okay. yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Who's doing who in the car? <laughs> <laughs> or are you being done by the cars? We're, no, we take it. We're, we're really versatile with it. So we, we oh, versatile. Oh, yeah, yeah, we well, take it. That turns. is a good phrase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're both on the bus. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, so Rory yeah, yeah. is taking taking credit. Rory's for taking this. all credit for yeah, everything. Okay, uh, yeah. And and fair enough. Like I will give him his credit. Like he he has been very helpful, but he's also a twat. So, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean that's fair. I'd rather just you not be helpful, but be a nice person. But you know, it is. That it doesn't, is. That doesn't actually, happen. No, there's no use for me, actually. No. So. Yeah. 
Mm. Um, but yeah, and, and I know you have also, you know, thrown up a few times in your mouth when saying how, how good Rory has been. At helping I've you. never said that. Now, I watched mm. the podcast you did in that, that van <laughs> and uh, I saw that you said nice things about Rory and I was like, wow. He was sponsoring me at the time. <laughs> <laughs> he was sponsoring and helping you start the business. So it wasn't only Rory saying, oh, you should leave and start your own thing. There must have been something in your mind that wasn't going quite right. Oh, hundred percent. You know, th th there's a, it's weird how, you know, when I first started in 2017, it was a dream job. My, uh, yeah, this is it. This is my life now. And then you get to sort of four years down the line and you, you achieve things and, you know, we hit a million subscribers on the YouTube channel and, and stuff like that, which is obviously rookie numbers. Yeah. I've covered that off. Uh, in case <laughs> I didn't want to say, say but thank you. you can see that. in your yeah, eyes. Yeah. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and then you start to think, oh, you know, these, these older people are telling me to do things or go in a certain direction or whatever it might be. And then you go, I could literally do all of this without you. Mm. Um, so that's the kind of thought was, you know, I, I, I want to leave and have some more freedom and, 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 and the thought was to only ever do it for myself. I thought I could just leave and start my YouTube channel, whatever. But that, I never in a million years thought Tommy would, that, would leave. That's the thing though with both you guys is that it, it wasn't just older people. The, uh, the people who were telling you what you should be doing were not the people that built the channel. Like, so yeah. at, this was after both of WTF1 and Car Frog got sold. You had people telling you what to do who had no idea what they were doing. Like they, they didn't, they didn't start a YouTube channel from scratch and build something. They were, they were telling you what to do, even though you were the ones with the knowledge, you mm. were the ones that built the products and everything like that. And then you have these people who, yeah, didn't really know what they were doing, but they were thinking that they did trying to tell you how to run the channel. Yeah. And, and you just sat there going, it's bean counters, isn't it? Not, they're just counting money and they're uh, expecting 100%. money to flow in with no investment. Yeah. And then we know that you have to, well, I was going to say, you have to spend money to make money, but in your case, <laughs> you, you don't really. Mate, my microphone was a good... <laughs> was it? Was it 50 yeah. quid? Was good it? investment. Still not as good as these, so. Yeah, oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> but no, for, for Autilex especially, um, the, the channel, the business pays a lot of money to make money. In your case, like you are very lucky because you get to sit on your ass <laughs> talk about F1 okay. and, and, it's just, and you're just there in your, in your, in your Tommy Hill figure jumper and, <laughs> and knickers and it's no but your God, that, that was serious for almost two minutes your, was, no, no, your business really... model is fantastic yeah it genuinely is fa fantastic like for, for you it's perfect for me it's also perfect yes I've got to spend more money but I get to go out and buy cars and go on adventures and stuff like that mm. For you, you get to sit at home, podcast, why are you smiling? I'm because I'm, I'm waiting for the abuse. Stream and and do all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I think that for for us, it was you know, if you as you say, you you, you spend a lot of money, you do what you love with the cars and stuff. With us, it was about getting a team that we can rely on to be as reactive as possible to to the Formula One content that goes on. You know, we we cover a sport; we have to be there the second something happens. So we have we, we're very lucky to have an amazing sort of editors and, and that sort of stuff that we can rely on them to for us to do our job and then for them to do theirs and then we can deliver as quickly mm. as possible and but but those aren't just the because obviously you do a lot of streaming but you do have some of those pinch yourself moments as well like monaco yes. for example uh, yeah last year was so i do actually leave my bedroom uh, yeah <laughs> although it isn't technically a bedroom anymore it's an office but uh what uh, is it studio T teams or zoom or <laughs> Just open the front door and I, leave. I go to the shop sometimes. Um, but no, that some some incredible opportunities have come around. Uh, last year, went to Monaco with 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 Poker Stars and Red Bull and had the most. We we like to go with them was was obviously sensational. To stay in Monaco, I'm like, oh my god, I'm staying in Monaco whilst the Monaco Grand Prix is on. But not only what that, hotel we got, were you in? Uh, I can't remember what it was called now, but it was like at the sort of towards the end. It was along the beach. But it, it's I think it was where Ferrari was staying. And um, so it, you must you must have flown over the lake in the helicopter. No, I didn't have a helicopter. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, sorry, so not not quite. On and you, you went out in a car with Daniel Ricciardo, right? Yeah, no, uh, no. around Monaco. No. And, uh, and I did race the Nico Hulkenberg many years ago. Oh yeah, oh, I did. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, he was yeah, in the car yeah. next to us. Oh, yeah. Did you not do? No. Oh, oh maybe we should cut. Maybe we should cut that bit. It's but, very embarrassing. Uh, Sorry, carry on. Carry on. <laughs> but we got a boat into a boat, which was mad. What? So oh. the, the Red Bull Energy Station is a boat, and we got a boat from our hotel to the boat. Did you sing the song? Huh? Did oh. you sing the song? <laughs> what song? I'm on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, row, row, row your boat. But I was like, that's far too innocent to you. Do you, do you know how, how big the Red Bull Energy Station is? Is it a boat? And, well, it was a boat. That, in yeah. Monaco, it was a boat, yeah. Uh, yes, I do. You do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it a square feet? Do you, have, 
What have you seen it? Yeah, it's four thousand seven hundred nineteen <laughs> square feet. Prove otherwise. <laughs> okay, it's that's not. true. Actually, no, you can't. It's not. You can't prove otherwise. Oh, well, I, can, I could just Google it. No, don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I, I assume it's quite large. If a boat was going inside, yeah. It. I would say it is what twice the size of this building. So probably about four thousand. Twice the size, and then probably a, a roof on top, like another another floor. Sorry. Can you get me that square footage? Because I think I'm pretty much spot on. Uh, no, <laughs> I think it's actually bigger than two of these. It's it's you think massive. It's it is huge. Yeah. yeah. So it, what is it? A building that you it's chill a temporary on? building that they build at every oh. European racetrack, pretty much. Uh, let me get a picture of it. But it's it is massive. That is stunning. And it floats on the water. For it, Monaco, in yeah. Monaco, it so does. Wow. Yeah. It literally floats outside of the paddock, so you can just go and yeah, walk along and then just just Jesus. board it. That is a, like the money in F1 is just insane. Yeah, it's obscene. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, Matty was telling us, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> God, sorry, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> so what was going on at Monaco? Boat in a boat. Yeah, it was It was just to, to be with PokerStars and with Red Bull the whole weekend, you know, to, to have just incredible access mm. uh, for, for the whole week, um, which was unbelievable. Uh, we also got to you know speak to Danny Ricardo and and things like that, which is obviously really cool. He's a he's a great guy. Um, he's showing you something there. Oh shit, that's massive! It's it's like a whole building uh, made of wood. Uh, like yeah, it's crazy. It, that's cool. Yeah, but the, the 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 most epic trip last year was was when we did the American road trip uh, oh. with Poker Stars as well, where we went from Pebble Beach, California. You notice that's a third dimension of Poker Stars. Yeah, yeah, he bloody yeah. loves Poker Stars. Well, I'm just it? telling you who I went with. I mean, do you want me to say I did the road trip? Oh, just say yeah, yeah, yeah. Just say, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't need to. You don't, need, don't need to promote to your road. sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, we did a, an incredible road trip from Pebble Beach, California, all the way through to Vegas, stopping off at places like Yosemite and yeah, just yeah, simply like, nice. ridiculous. You know, that, cool. and definitely a pinch me moment. Yeah. Go, yeah. How is this my job? Yeah. Okay. Wasn't there a bit of that trip it? where you were driving yeah, with Daniel Ricardo? Yes, you... we had like an hour road trip with him uh, through sort of, yeah, going into Who was Las driving? Vegas. Daniel Ricardo. Was, was he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <gasps> I was yeah. supposed to drive and I was like, no, no, you can drive. <laughs> <laughs> I want to focus on the questions. You can drive. Uh, and also you're an F1 driver, so, you know. How was his driving on normal roads? Fantastic. Yeah. Beautiful, straight and to the speed limit. <laughs> bullshit <laughs> bullshit <laughs> but no it was uh, it was amazing and um, there was another moment uh, in when we were in Vegas and then they had that whole free practice problem with the drain cover in Vegas oh which, even I heard about that which yeah. essentially you know the, the drain cover came up destroyed Carlos Sainz's car and then it took so long to repair that they sent all the fans home but they still ran the session yeah. and it was at like Oh yeah! It was at like three, uh, two, half two in the morning, I think. Jeez. And I was staying in a hotel that had an uh, that could see the track. Really? So I I was <gasps> napping, and then I woke up to Formula One cars on track at half two in the morning. Wow! And I remember just watch, just sat there looking out the window, going, "Yeah, this 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 isn't real. This is cool. But yeah, it was one of the coolest things ever. That's fantastic. Awesome. Who's your favorite F one driver? Charles Leclerc. <laughs> All right, bloody hell! Uh, no. Dude. Why is he your favorite? Because he's just a a wonderful man okay uh, he's a beautiful but, man. i mean michael schumacher is my overall favorite because of growing up yeah but, um but yeah charlotte Claire more recently okay what about daniel ricardo well, he's a lovely bloke but yeah. he's just he's... i get on very well with him but you okay. know just having a legion i think much. it's the ferrari tie and okay yeah All what right. about you who's your favorite driver uh uh it's uh <laughs> have you ever followed f1 he ha he he's had his moments i i know for a fact because he's uh, you know very very rarely he's brought up f1 and i'm like Mm. Well done. Back in the day when <laughs> Schumacher was racing, yes. I was yeah. a massive Schumacher fan. Were you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Schumacher, was it Hakkinen? Mm -hmm. Hak and Ralph Schumacher was in there as well. He was. Yeah, that was always very exciting for me. Yeah, little old school F1 fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the racing was even worse, you were like, yeah, this is when I'm going to watch it. Even It can't be worse. It can't be worse it's than this bad. last few seasons. No, but it, it, everyone's like, oh, so everyone now so bad. And yes, but it is bad now, no. don't get me wrong. But back in the sort of 90s and noughties, it was horrendous. But everyone was like, oh, the sound's amazing. No, no, Which is probably what Alex was like. Oh, the engine's it, incredible. It has never been mm. that one driver has won yeah. every single race except for... From a competition standpoint, what, yes. how many? How many did he... It not... was 19 out of 20 races he won yeah. in a row. Yeah. God, that's so boring. Yeah. But he didn't win the last one, so you, you know, F1 because is only as entertaining as your last race. 
And to be fair, last race was shit as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear i watched the five minute highlight package and it looked great on the on that and then everyone i, I was like oh yeah it seemed like an all right race and then everyone was speaking to me going no, no shit well the thing it, was everyone was so excited because verstappen was out we're going oh we're going to get two ferraris versus two mclarens for the win and carlos Sainz just dominated the whole race and and we had, had hardly any will to win. who action. does Sainz play for play for he plays for the red team oh, okay yeah. manu yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. although no. not for long not for long Oh, isn't um, Lewis Hamilton going to Ferrari? Well he done. Is. Yeah. Well yeah. Done. Look at me go. Yeah, he watches. Yeah. yeah. So do you think, so, where, do you, where do you think science is going to end up? I don't know, but I feel like it's going to be, I, let, I, hope, I hope he goes to Mercedes for a year because it'll be such a waste if yeah. he goes to Stake F1 team, which are the wor one of the worst teams Stake on the Stake F1? Yes. Uh, they're what? the neon green team that have been uh, sort of rebranded from Alfa Romeo Sauber. Although they're not allowed to call themselves oh. Stake F1 yeah, team. Stake F1 team Kick Sauber is their full name, which is the worst Formula that 1 is so team shit. name in the history of yeah. Of, and because of it's a gambling company, they can oh, only name God. themselves that, I think. At like, uh, like, yeah, five like races or something. Ten, yeah. ten and races. There's only one yeah. gambling company that we like, which is... Poker stars. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Poker. <laughs> You're welcome. You're going to have send me on another trip. <laughs> uh, so the only part that, that I like about F1 is watching... The start? No. Oh. Drive to Survive. I think it's fascinating. Have you watched the latest season? Uh, don't know. Maybe okay, a few it's episodes. A lie, then, isn't it? <laughs> maybe a few episodes. But when it's on, when I'm on Netflix or whatever, I'm like, oh, I will actually watch that. When you've watched all your maths. Yeah, yeah. But actually, that's quite yeah, funny as a... Uh, a, a long-term fans of F1 will be like Drive to Survive ruined F1. <laughs> <laughs> Which is complete and utter bullshit, to be honest with you. Like, Do you like yes. Drive to Survive? I like the concept of it. I, I think as the seasons have gone on, it's become the same thing kind of every year. Mm. Uh, Formula One teams have got a stranglehold on it now and I feel as though you see less and less behind the scenes stuff that you might have seen in the first couple of seasons where they didn't really realise how big it was going to be. Yeah. Now it's, yeah, it all just feels very staged and... You, know, you might have a team briefing, but everyone knows the cameras are there. Yeah, they're yeah. not going to say the, the the right thing. Whereas you know, Danny Rick a few seasons before, like Netflix are a right bunch of C bombs, aren't they? And yeah. you know, stuff like that, where you just you felt like you were a fly on the wall. But yeah, especially in Hass's team. Oh, oh good oh, to God. my man. And good. Now, oh, good. Now to, he's yeah, he's interviewer. great. Yeah, he's. he's been oh yeah, sacked. he's changed now, hasn't he? He's yeah. been sacked. He's still yeah. at the F one though. I think he, but he's a. Yeah. Well, he interviewed. He did some interviewers, and he's been. Uh, he, he interviewed the top three at the last race, which was bizarre. Um, and yeah, he's doing some like broadcasting stuff because be get like, that bag, you know. I, well, I think this is a better role for him. He's 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 done so well at building this and personality. He's got a book. Yeah, he has. Yeah, I know that because the drive to drive to survive. Oh, yeah. what's so I have, I have. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing myself driving a Renault F1 car. I yeah, cry. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh no, I have watched part of the later season because mm. I know about the book. From Drive to Five. Wow. Yeah. Well done. Mm. Yeah. That. But not the whole thing. So it wasn't that good. No, no. I mean, it's F1. It's going to be quite boring, isn't it? Fair. Yeah. Cool. But, yeah. Um, so, Christine Horner. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> what, what have you got coming up? And what, what, is, what are the plans for P1 with uh, Matty and Tommy? And where, where for you, like, in 10 years' time, what is your dream? What has always been little Matty Gallagher, the little child, what's always been your dream to achieve? The dream is to do what I'm doing now, to be honest with you. Like there's, there's not more, much more evolution, like, you know, to go from being an employee to now owning a company doing this, this is the dream. So uh, for me in 10 years time, I still want to be doing what I'm doing now. I, yeah. I don't want to hang up the, the, you know, the podcasting mic or whatever. I don't want to do that because I love talking about Formula One. I think without that in my life, it, it would feel like there's a massive void. Yeah. So I think that's why people enjoy li listening and watching us is because they can see the passion of that's us why just I watching Formula it. One. Yeah, that's why you obviously consume all of our content. Yeah. Um, no, you're, you're, I, like, I really enjoyed your latest podcast. Yeah? yeah Did yeah. you? Yeah. The, what the, which one was that then? Well, where you talked was about that, F1. Was yeah. that the one they released this morning or this afternoon? I don't, I don't know. They just released so many. We do, do a lot of content. So, <laughs> you know, it, it keeps you entertained at all times. It does. I mean, the numbers are very good. Fair play. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Is that it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're preempting badness, aren't you? Yes, and yeah. uh, you would think that that's you've got me all fair. wrong, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see a split of the abuse segment <laughs> to the just normal conversation. I think it's about ten percent. It's just flirting, man. Is it? Yeah, is this yeah, what yeah. this is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Cool. All right. I can see my the other leg. question then, Matt. Yes. Do you think if you're a Formula One fan or whatever that you are then have to be into cars? No. 
because I'm proof of that. Yeah, uh, like you, you I would, think that's a you common would misconception. Most people would think that it goes hand in hand, really. With, with, with uh, don't get me wrong, there are people that love cars that love Formula One because of the technology and everything that goes on inside the car. But I think that it's difficult to say. But I think a lot of people also just love watching it for the racing, the emotion the storylines and that kind of stuff. And you don't need to care about the suspension rods and all that sort of crap. You know what I mean? And I don't care about that stuff, really. You know, obviously, if there's big regulation changes coming and you try and learn about what's going to change, you know, in 26, uh, there's going to be a big regulation change, which is uh, becoming more of an engine formula. And so you learn a little bit more about how they're oh, in, incorporating sustainable fuels. They're not going to a free cylinder, like are that. they? No. Um, <laughs> what are they doing? Uh, what's happening in 26? They're well. They're, is it all electric? It's just turning into Formula no, E. No, it's not. No, but is um, that why you want to buy an electric car? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> oh no, it's for tax reasons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're just they're dry, well, they're trying to mix it up again because they always do this every five years. Five Cause, years cause or Red so. Bull are dominating too much. Yeah, but the Red thing Bull is, have perfected almost this every one. time they change the regulations, the year before they change the regulations, all the teams figure out how to do these current regulations and then they have a good season uh, like 2021 where we saw Hamilton season, versus Verstappen season. and then they changed the regulations and then someone was dominating again. Mm. So it feels like they just get it wrong a lot, but um, maybe 26 will be different. So how can we make F1 fun to watch for normal people? Smaller, lighter cars that can follow. In 2022, they could follow for the first few races because teams hadn't found out a way of basically disturbing the air more than they could. So they could actually race, mm. which was awesome. Um, and now they're just too heavy. They can't follow. So When you say they can't follow, what do you mean? So, so in terms of Formula One cars are so reliant on undisturbed air in yeah. order to create the downforce for the car. If they're following another car that's already disturbing all of that air, they lose a lot of that. Downforce. Oh, okay, okay. So, so you can't slipstream and then do an overtake. Is that you can you can slipstream, but it's more following in the corners where oh, okay. they rely on that grip and that downforce. Yeah. Um and, and in at the start of 2022, they'd created a philosophy of car that pushed enough of the air out and away that the cars behind had a, a much more consistent amount of downforce. It would still be a little bit less, but it would be enough that they could stay within DRS mm. and fight. Whereas now they, they, they just lose too much grip and then they start sliding and then the tyres overheat and then it's just a nightmare. Because I remember mm. those first few, was it the races in, where was it, Qatar, where there mm. was there was so much like, uh, it was Leclerc and Verstappen, wasn't it? Where they were doing, was it 2022? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Where they were doing their little, like Leclerc was playing the smart game. where he, Saudi. It, was it Saudi? Saudi yeah, yeah. Where chicken, he was, DRS where, chicken. Yeah, where he would literally like let him get past the DRS line and but then he would then use the the little momentum to then get like still have the DRS then so he'd be behind it. Oh, that was that was it amazing was racing. It was that the, was amazing. It was racing. one of the only times in Formula One you would see both drivers trying to go slowly to yeah. try and get an advantage because they didn't want to cross the DRS detection line first mm. because they're the one that wouldn't get the the benefit. It was yeah, yeah. it was fascinating. That was, that was fascinating. Yeah, you loved it. That was amazing. Yeah, you, I can see you've now glossed over. Mm. Um, so yeah, 2017. That was great. 2017. Yeah. What Sorry, the first what? year of what? when I joined. Joined what? up with you, yeah. Oh, yeah, office, yeah, 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 good. yeah, yeah. So who's faster at you two? <laughs> Me, definitely. <laughs> I've already said, I've already won it 4-3. It was a full showdown. So. Should we, we go again? <laughs> should we go again? I, I think we should go again. Come on, man, let's sport, go again. Wasn't it? Yeah. 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 I think we should go again. Let's yeah. go again. Do you reckon, yeah? What do you want to do? <gasps> I've got a better idea. Go on. Oh, God. What's famous? What's like, like big money at the moment in YouTube? Uh, cr crash cars? No. Uh, between Between presenters. Between mm, think like Jake Paul and boxing. Boxing, <laughs> right? Let's, oh, fine. Okay, great, great idea. I yeah? love how you're so out of date. What's big right now? That would no, be no, like, no, like listen, three years ago or something. <laughs> Shut like, up. You're no, so old. No, Jake Paul. He's a boxer and he's he's fighting Mike Tyson. Yeah, but that was like four years ago. He started. They've this. not fighted yet. Yeah, fight no. fight <laughs> it. <laughs> anyway, fight me. Fought. Okay. It's on. Oh, I th we'll oh, sh oh shit. You've got to remember this I've man has reach. been in training for the last year. In training yeah. for what? For you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was coming. <laughs> look, shit, look. this has all been scripted. Feel, feel his peck. Oh, for fuck. Feel his peck. Right, come, come, oh, okay. come, come, come on in. Come on in. Wait, is it there? Oh, that's my nipple. Oh, sorry. I oh, thought that's that was what good. you meant. That was good, though. Let I me feel the peck. It. Okay. You want to. Beg? There's no peck. There's no peck. Right, let me feel you. Okay. Go on, Ted. 
<laughs> oh, it's very nice uh, Hugo Boss watch. Thank you. There. Thank you so much. Are you sponsored by Hugo Boss? No, moment? I'm not. No. Okay. But if, if they are listening. Mm, if you are listening, yep. which you probably are, because this is a very big podcast. Huge podcast. Yeah. That tweaks people's nipples on <laughs> <laughs> We've done far worse. <laughs> That's uh, true. So, okay, right. So you name the play. Right. What, when are you doing your live podcast? We could do it there. <laughs> Just, yeah, that'll be the interview. <laughs> I was everyone's getting their drinks. So yeah, get the boxing gets the drink. ring out. You get up, you just take off this cloak and then your full boxing livery and then I come out from the audience we just start beating the shit out of that each other. That would be great content. That would be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, you've got a field of shed fest. You can get some, get a boxing ring there, surely. There's enough space. Yeah, so yeah. there you go. If you want to do it's it, done. we'll set it up. We'll set it up. <laughs> you won't fight me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping you'll say no. No, no, no. I'm just like, <laughs> please don't I, call my bluff. <laughs> I think there does need to be a go karting rematch, though. Yeah. No, let's do it in real cars. All right. Because <laughs> he knows he's not going to win. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. No, I've got a weight disadvantage. I'm definitely heavier than you. Not with those pecs, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you weigh? Uh, probably about 93. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What are you? Not 93. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to get into seriously uh, interesting dimensions. If anyone would, would like to see some sort of competition, be it uh, cage fighting or... <laughs> that would be... I don't know. I mean, filth. we could have a knife fight or something. <laughs> then just to the death. Email, email in at... Podcast at autoalexcars.com. That is... Podcast at autoalex... <laughs> Dot com. I literally just said it. I just said it. Mate, I listened to about 12% of what you said. Really. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, um, it'd be funny if we had a little little bit of yeah. into well YouTube competition somehow. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. You'll pay for it though, right? Well, if it's on your channel, mate. I mean, well, then you'll we still pay for it. This. Tommy and Hillfinger can pay for it. <laughs> They've had so many shout outs. I might just link them to this podcast. <laughs> yeah, please do. Because <laughs> look, I've got a jumper that's that's... Just unbranded. Mm. Oh no, it says, what does that say on there? Is that super dry? Yeah. Super, well, it's super. so old that you can't even read it. It's just no, away. he's so old that he can't read it. <laughs> super dry, that is cute though. <laughs> Why is that's it like cute? a 10 year ago sort of trend, isn't it? Lesson. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Get me some bloody hill <laughs> <laughs> Um Right, should we, should we wrap it up there or have we got any more to do? Is there anything else that you'd like to say? No, no, I'm 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 very sore after this podcast. For, <laughs> both are, you, are you so and, happy you came with down my nipple? <laughs> so happy. Uh, I've bought a car clearly, and uh, I've been on a podcast too. So. Uh, so we're actually going to be doing a video with you, aren't we? Straight after this, where we're looking sure. to buy you a car. We are looking. What's the budget? <laughs> Don't be shy. Don't know. This is F1 money right now. What's oh, the for budget? God's sake! It's, it's going to come out in a main it's channel a, video. I, I, don't, I don't know. It depends what car looks at me and goes, "Hey, okay." And that might be a Jaguar F type, but we'll see. Okay. Oh, guys, a lot of money. Yeah, but they are nice. Sound Bro, you cars. have 30 sound... cars, I swear, don't you? Yeah, but they're all shit. Uh, Actually, no, I've got. Well, I've got it's Phil shit, is it? I thought, you... thought that was worth quite a lot. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how yeah. the tables turn. <laughs> yes. Okay. Touche and checkmate. Well done. Uh, and with that, thank you very much for watching and listening. Thank you very much to uh, Matty from P1 with Matty and Tommy coming on this Poxy Little podcast and talking about um, F1, which was disgustingly boring. But we managed to talk about maths, yeah, which is interesting. That's the main thing. That is the main thing. You need to watch maths immediately. Yeah. Is that's that going to be the title of this podcast? Mm. Yeah. Why, Why you need, need to watch, watch maths. maths. <laughs> <laughs> um, and with that, thank you very much again. Uh, whatever you're doing it, do uh, whatever you're doing, do it to the best of your abilities. Final word, please, Matty. Shedfest, the 4th of May, uh, £450 per ticket. Okay. Thank you. And goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>